Shane with the simplegig.com, educating and training, not entertaining and complaining. I just dropped off a passenger whose little brother's girlfriend was rear-ended. Okay, Utah has an epidemic. It's called tailgating, following too close. I'm always shocked when I meet people that don't know what tailgating is. The term tailgating, yeah, it could be a tailgating party or something like that in the back of a truck. But following too close is called tailgating, and it's an epidemic in Utah. When you tailgate and have an accident, that's not an accident. That's a conscious decision to drive recklessly, and that's attempted manslaughter. Don't tailgate. Don't. It's a mental disorder when you think that you're either pushing somebody or you think... You can't see the forest through the trees when you're too close. You got to be way back, so far back that you can see in front of that car. If that car is about to run over something, I'm already getting over before that person. If you're too close and you, there's so many reasons. But I just dropped off the pass, uh, passenger, just this passenger I just recently dropped off. His little brother's girlfriend was doing a DoorDash delivery. And somebody rear-ended her. Okay, so that's the beginning of the story. Somebody rear-ends her and that's what we're talking about. Following too close. You should always be at least 100 feet away from the car in front of you. So following too close, rear-ends her while she's just out trying to make some money in the gig economy doing a DoorDash delivery. Okay, that triggers it. So then she gets out and she's looking at her bumper, her rear bumper bumper i'm waiting for a passenger in case you can't tell she gets out okay somebody tailgating her following too close attempted manslaughter a conscious decision to drive recklessly narcissistic arrogant self-righteous to be pushing that car in front of you down the road right tailgating rear ends she gets out gets pinched in between the two and loses her leg